is the name of Jesus. So when we talk about the kingdom living, we just read the list in English and also in Fijian. So when we have the spirit of God in us, he will lead us away from this list. The spirit of the Lord will lead us away. Even though the lust of the flesh will be seen. The lust of the flesh will push you to do these things. Because these are the system of this world. Ten of them. Okay. Number one, sexually immoral. Number two, idolaters. Number three, adulterers. Number four, male prostitute. Number five, homosexual offenders. Number six, thieves. Number seven, greedy. Number eight, drunkards. Number nine, slanderers. And number 10, swindlers. So these are the lifestyle, the pattern of this world. Without the kingdom of God, when we leave the kingdom of this life, in the bulat tu bawa manua, in the bulat tu bawa maten tu, sini maten tu di kalu, bulat bawa maten tu. These are the pattern of this world. So when God is talking about do not conform to the pattern of this world, these are the pattern of this world, living a a lifestyle, a normal kind. And a normal to kin and do a son sada. Because that is the pattern of this world. And normal to men do a domotedi. Pattern of this world. And normal to come and do a la set to be tuba. And when you would attack it, you have normal to go. It's not a big thing. But in the kingdom of God, it's something that removes us. It will not give to us the inheritance that we're supposed to have. Some of us that we are watching this. This program and those of you that will watch on television, we are live on Facebook, uh, Souls to Jesus, every Monday to Friday, one to two. That you are watching this program, whether from your business house, whether from LTA, from FERCA, maybe the Ministry of Youth and Sports, wherever you are watching from. I believe God allowed this lesson to come through so we can readjust ourselves. We can readjust our life. Because the Bible says, Do you not know that the wicked will not inherit the kingdom? It will not. Amen. Whatever we say, whatever we plan, whatever lifestyle that we live, these ten things becomes barrier. That's why the topic of this lesson, the barriers to the kingdom. And you hardly, you hardly hear this from preachers. You hardly hear this from, from the pulpit. Talatala these days, they hardly preach against all these ten things. But this is the very thing that we're supposed to hear. This is the very thing that we're supposed to run towards. Yeah. To seek the kingdom of God. That means we're running away from living a sinful life. Because sin kills the Bible says, God's hand is not too short. God's hand is not too short. God's ears is never too dumb to hear. Then what is the problem? The problem that we are living a sinful life. So, it is a good lesson for us that we are watching today. Do you not know that the wicked will not inherit the kingdom of God? And the wicked... Is what we call sinful life. The wicked. Hallelujah. So when we talk about wickedness, we are talking about sinful life. And look at the yeah, look at the sin. Yeah. You can read again in the in the in, in Fijian. Do not be deceived. O Irnanda Undara, Dua. Irnanda Sorgina Matakau, Rua. Kirnanda Yalewa, Tolu. Kirna Via Via Bacana Elewa, Va. Kirna Via Moderi Batangani, Lima. Kirnanda Mutaco, Ono. Irnanda Codo Codo, Vitu. Kirnanda Mateni, Walu. Kirnanda Viva Sosuani, Viva. Kirnanda Kobe Kobe. Sidi. Bible is very clear. And this is the lifestyle that the world is living right now. I was in Australia last week and I and I saw in the news, the printed news.